वेलकम टू दी अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ एब्सट्रैक्ट थीसिस सीरीज इन दिस सीरीज वी आर डिगिंग डीप इन टू दी पावर बी आई कंसेप्ट इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन सो दैट यू कैन गेट नोटिफिकेशन फॉर अवर न्यू वीडियो हेलो एंड वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ एब्सट्रैक्ट थीसिस सीरीज एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो वी वुड लाइक टू डिस्कस सीनारियोज वेयर यू नो बोथ द सेलेक्टेड वैल्यूज आर प्रेजेंट इन अ पर्टिकुलर कैटेगरी और लेट्स ए कस्टमर हैज परचेज बोथ द ब्रांड्स so i selected two brand and has the customer purchase both these brand so if i uh, scroll down here at the table which i created you can see these are two these are customers and i have these concatenated brand and i'll explain you this statement of concatenated brand but you can see that brand 1 and brand 2 are selected and if i scroll down little bit you will find that only few of them has purchased both the brands other one has brand 1 or brand 2 so there are customer who only have single brand but i want to know only those customers which actually has purchased both these brands okay so i have a long list of 30000 customers where they have these brands and now you can see even there are few customers which has actually have a uh, brand one also and then there is a combination where brand one and brand two is also coming so we want to know all those customer who has purchased brand one and brand two and then we want to exclude those who has not purchased that okay so we want that or it could be a case like where you have this category where you know uh i have this item uh, uh category uh, table where a brand is also there and this category contain both brand 1 and brand 2 and others don't contain that so or maybe we want to know that so here what i have done is if you look at this major little bit carefully what i have done it here is you know i was doing this concatenate x of item and then to take the distinct values i use this values and brand but see here i have added this additional statement where i'm filtering the Uh, a value a column basically uh, from the sales table and ensuring that is not blank uh, and what is the advantage of that we have to see uh, the, i am trying to ensure that it is present in the sales table so, so so some purchase has been done but what happens if we don't use it okay so what we are going to do is we are going to build our major has both and while building that major has both we will also learn this so let's start with has both and the first thing i'm going to do in has both is we we are going to build it step by step and i say count item brand and let me let me simply add this and test what it does it come it, it gives 7777777 it give, giving me some numbers and even when it is one it is giving me seven numbers so that's not justifying the number so what we need here is distinct count okay let's take distinct count so when i take distinct count it is two it seems correct but let me scroll down further now look at this this is not what this is not two this should be one it's one and, and now you understand the reason why i have taken that statement so we need to take care when we are going to build this further then we need that statement also but what i am going to do is to ensure that it is always two i am going to say where count and i don't want to it to take the context anyway it would be correct in this case because customer is definitely not joined with this dimension but what happens if it is joined and we say calculate and then i am going to use all selected so i want the all selected values and let me call it item now let's look at is there any change in value we have not written anything let's return it also let me rename it as count So now we are still getting two, two, two. Let's look what happens. Okay, it's two. Now it is all selected. So anyway, it should have been two. Now what we are going to do here is we are trying to build up a statement here. So first of all, I need to know how many how many I purchase. Basically, I purchase one or I purchase two for the selected values. Now definitely because the dimension item dimension is joined, 
so if i create account where i can have a when i can involve the sales table then it should be it should be giving me the number of uh, brands i purchased so calculate distinct count item brand and let's follow the same approach filter sales now where sales where not is blank sales gross sales is one of the column where i'm getting gross sales so i'm trying to check that so what i'm saying is give me the distinct count when this is not blank and you see it's still 222 but let's scroll down further so okay so now what i what i will get here is now okay so i got it so if it is not equal to this it's not purchased isn't it it's as simple as that okay so let's create a little bit of space because we will need a number out also here so i'm going to put a card visual here so can we count those customers also okay let's make it a little bit smaller so has both spelling is wrong we'll going to correct it now so right now it's not the count okay no worries okay now what we are going to do is it's very simple seems like if it is equal to that one so if underscore count equals to this calculate then one else is zero isn't it or even better blank we don't want something which is not there okay so we got all these 111 and let's sort on all these one you might have remember there is some 1 and 2 and 2 and 1 so all of them has come and let's scroll quickly 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 nothing is there okay so now this is one but total is not correct total is still one so while we are able to get it and this is the same formula i will be able to go ahead and use it here isn't it has both one now here comes the difference now when i want to count these customers and that's where you know the has both need to be a little bit different now i need the same statement but i need to count the customers so what i need to do here is sum x values okay and then i need to say customer customer name and then i need to put this statement okay so it's saying 6138 customer has both now here it is difficult to count the number while scrolling but this is what the number it is throwing we have around 30000 customer it's saying 6 6138 customers is having both okay now let's change the statement little bit and just try to you know confirm the same thing so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this alt enter comment and paste this and then i'm going to use it and we have used sum x and we can use sum x and we can even use count count could be little bit tricky but count is another way we can use it so so this time i'm going to use count x and what i'm going to use there is count x summarize sales and i'm going to say customer name customer name comma underscore one i'm creating a new column here in the new column i'm going to create this formula okay so i created this formula my calculate and i close this summarize now the formula has been created in this intermediate table and i have i'm not going to add now filter here now i'm going to add a filter here and i'm going to say filter now what i want to filter underscore one column is equal to underscore cnt underscore count and i close the filter so it should only give me where it is count and what should it count it should actually count the customer name so it is only name here we need to be little bit careful the name which is present here and let's return this 
okay so now this number seems correct 413 so that's where i said you know the number which previously we had looked at it seeming like pretty big 6000 odd customers which is still not the correct value okay uh, so while displaying correctly but that's not the correct value uh, so what we have done here is now we created a table and 413 has both is the correct value which both the customers have that brand 1 as well as brand 2 okay that number is justified now let, let's go and validate this thing here now here problem here is that i can't simply use this has both because the counting of the has both here is 117 it's only one uh, category which is there so what we are going to do is we are going to copy this formula has both and put it into a new major so i got a new major now in this new major instead of this customer i am going to say here item category and see this is how these formula which is using context are dependent here and then i'm going to count the category so here filter summarize sales sales i have taken the center table fact table then i can take a dimension also in the summarize then i am creating a new column which is actually calculating the distinct count of the brand and ensuring that when the sales is null it's getting that then that number i am comparing with the distinct count which means i have distinct count which is available uh, which is ideally two here in this case two selected value and then category okay this is what we want and so then finally we are end up counting it and this major we call has both cat category okay and let's bring this has both categories so it's only giving us one and let's put this on a car visual because that's where we wanted to have a verification we have put it at a wrong place let's click on this let's make it little bit smaller okay so has both is one okay what happens if i select only one okay category 1 has brand 1 category 4 has brand 1 do, do both of only one has that let's say there is one item i think which is giving in a brand 3 so 1 to 3 okay let's say brand 1 and brand 4 okay it's coming black because when i selected brand 1 and brand 4 you found that either it is having brand 1 or brand 4 it is having it don't have both of them okay so now this is the way where you can know now like if i go to the customer in this case and i want to know the brand 3 means people who has purchased brand 1 brand 2 and brand 3 you can see number is 63 and post that there is no number and i have sorted on has both so you can look at the number so this is the way you create this major now there are various steps and we also you know use the values in between and try to find out how to do it but we realize how the important sales table is to participation of sales table is there in that one and that's where the correct formula got created when we use summarizes and sales table uh, 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 making sure the sales table is participating in that so go ahead and try this um, thing out do let us know what else you want us to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you keep watching keep asking questions in comment subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you